Hey what's going on guys Tanmaya for simple snippets and in today's video tutorial in core java we are going to be taking the topic of this keyword so as you can see on the screen quickly open up our official website that is simple snippets.tech go under the courses and just go under the core java programming part wherein you'll see a list of tutorial articles just check out the this keyword and you'll be presented with this page or else i'll just share this entire link in the video description so let me just zoom in a little bit okay so you probably must have come across this keyword that is the this keyword in java programming and it has different applications and different use cases just like in the previous tutorial wherein we discussed the static keyword so if you have missed that video you can check it out in this playlist so with that being said let's start off with today's topic so we'll switch between the theory as well as the program part so make sure you watch this video till the end because we are going to take a look at both programming as well as the theoretical aspect of this keyword so starting off let's read a little bit about this this keyword in java so in very simple terms this is a reference variable that refers to the current object okay so this is actually the just one line definition in the most simplest form so basically it is a reference variable that refers to the current object now the current object or the current situation is different so that's why the this keyword is used in different cases or in different use cases so here are few use cases wherein the this keyword is used so it can be used to refer current class instance variable this can be passed as an argument in the method call this keyword can be used to return current class instance this can be passed as an argument in constructor call and then this with opening and closing round brackets or parentheses is actually to invoke the current class constructor now these five different use cases might sound a little weird but let's take a look at them one by one and we'll see the theory as well as the programming aspect of each case so starting off with the first case this keyword is used to refer current class instance variable okay so when does this situation arrive now let's take a look at this program now imagine you have a program wherein you have your class my class inside that you have an instance variable int num you have a public void set num method wherein you take the value and set that value to the instance variable that is num okay but here if you observe in the set num function the argument that you are passing also has the same name that is num okay so here in the statement wherein the assignment happens you can see i have used this dot num is equal to num so what does this mean so in order to differentiate between the instance variable num and the argument that is num being passed we have to use the this keyword so when i say this dot num it refers to the instance variable and when i say the equal to num that is on the num on the rhs it refers to the variable being passed as an argument so what happens if i do not use this this keyword let's try to see this in the programming part okay so as you can see on the screen i have already written the entire program out so that we do not waste a lot of time so as i mentioned the instance variable name num is same as the variable being passed as argument right so if i remove this this keyword and if i say num equals to num you can see there is a warning or yellow light so you can see assignment to itself right so if i try to run this the num value here is being zero however if you see in the program i have said set num equals to 5 which means that the value has to be 5 in the instance variable because i am printing out the value of the instance variable over here object dot num so this means there is some issue right there is no assignment happening the reason why it is not happening is because the program doesn't know this num is the instance variable num and this num is the num being passed now had this been some different name n and if i would have said n over here then this would have worked perfectly fine if i save this and run this there you go you can see num value is 5 so this ambiguity or this confusion only happens when the instance variable and the argument being passed has same name okay so this is the first use case to eliminate the ambiguity we use the this keyword if i save this and now try to execute this the program will work perfectly fine so you can see num value is equal to 5 which means it is working correctly so this was first use case let's move on to the next one in the second one we are saying this keyword is passed as an argument in method call so what does this mean in terms of programming let's see this example again we are taking the same example of my class i'm creating function 1 and inside that as an argument i'm passing an object of the same class okay so this is possible right we can pass any variable or any object also as an argument in any function so this is not a function this is a method in java we call these as methods i've written it as a function but just understand that we have to always call this as a method so in that i'm saying system dot out dot printer in function 1 invoked now i've created one more function which is named as function 2 inside that 
I am accessing function one and I'm using the this keyword. So what does the this keyword represent over here? Now have a look at the signature of function one. We have to pass an object of my class, right? So the this keyword means the current object of my class is being passed over here. So how does this work in the main function? So we create an object my class. So I say my class obj is equal to new my class wherein the object is created, right? So when I say obj dot function two, what is essentially happening is this function is being called, right? And inside that I'm saying function one dot and in the brackets I'm saying this. So the reference of object that we just created of the same type that is my class is being passed over here because function one is expecting an argument which is an object of my class. So in order to do that, we are using the this keyword, right? So which means that we are passing this object as reference over here and then function one is called wherein it, the value is printed as function one invoked. So it's a, what we say, two step process, which probably might be a little confusing, but essentially what we're doing is we are passing this object as reference and we are using the this keyword to be passed as an argument, right? So that was the part number two. What you can do is you can just copy this entire thing and paste it in your NetBeans and try to run this. I'm not going to do that because it will waste a little bit more time. So we'll quickly move ahead to the next use case. So the third use case is that this keyword can be used to return current class instance. Okay. So what does this mean in programming terms? So let me just read it out once again. This keyword can be used to return current class instance. So let's see the programming part. I have a class named class test inside which I have two instance variables a and b. Then I have the default constructor. So whenever an object of test is created, a will be 10 and b will be 20. Then I have a method whose return type is test, which means that this get method is going to return an object of test data type or test class. So that's where I can use this keyword return this because essentially we are going to call this method by using an object of test class itself, right? So when I say return this, that object itself is going to be returned. So you will see that in a minute. So then lastly, I have one more function or method, which basically displays the value of a and b. Okay. Simple. Let's see what happens in the main function. I create an object. So I say test object new test. So I created an object of class test, which means I have instance variable a and b inside this object whose values are 10 and 20. Now I say object dot get dot display. So you can see I have cascaded or attached two methods using the dot operator. And the reason why I'm able to do that is because when I say object dot get, you can see what is this get method doing? It is returning this, right? So the this is basically referencing to this object itself because this object is also of type test. So this is basically just a redundant method, which is doing nothing but returning a reference to the same object. And then since display is also a method of the same object, we are able to call it in a cascaded type of form wherein I say get dot display. And then when display is called, you get the output of a equals to 10 and b equals to 20. So this is essentially not exactly how the this keyword is used, but this is just a simple example to tell you that we can return the reference of the current class instance using the this keyword. Okay. Again, I'm not going to type this entire program because it will waste a lot of time. You can just copy paste this entire code and run it in your NetBeans IDE. If you are a beginner, I would recommend that you type it out of yourself. So moving on to the fourth use case so that this keyword can be passed as an argument in constructor call. So just like the, this keyword that can be used to refer current class instance variable in a method, it can also be used in constructor to refer the instance variable similarly, right? So in the first case, what we were doing is we had a class. Okay. So let's just take a program example because there is a little bit of typing error in this code wherein I have forgot or I've just not included the first two lines of the code. So let me just first copy this and go to the NetBeans ID and just paste it over here. And I'm going to say int num. Okay. So I'm going to take an example over here. So what we are doing here is we are just passing the num in the constructor. So I have the default constructor and then parameterized constructor and in the parameterized constructor, I'm passing int num. I also have an instance variable named int num and that is why we are using the this keyword. 
so that we differentiate the instance variable in num and the argument variable that we are passing as a parameter in the method. So this is pretty similar to the first case wherein we were passing the same named variable in the function just that instead of the function or method here we are using the constructor okay so not much of a difference over here so let's move on to the fifth use case which is the last use case and this code is a little incomplete so by the time you see this video i i would have rectified this code anyways moving on to the last part which is little important so that this along with the opening and closing around brackets is used to invoke current class constructor so why do we do that let's take a real time example and you'll understand why do we do that so i have this class student and inside that i have these instance variables so i have int roll number name course and i have the fees okay then i have my first constructor that is student and i'm passing int roll number string name and string course so except the fees i'm taking all these values and i'm assigning using the this keyword to the respective instance variables so the fees i'm not yet taking in this constructor but in the second parameter is constructor if you see i am taking all these values now if you see the first line of the second constructor i have said this i have passed roll number name and course so what exactly is happening is i am reusing the first constructor so that's how i am using the this along with the opening and closing parentheses and passing these four arguments in the method so essentially what this line will do is it will first call this constructor the first instance variables will be initialized and then i'll say this dot fee equals to fee so the fee was the remaining one so that's how i allocated the fee but what i did is instead of typing this entire code out again i reused the first constructor that is the first parameterized constructor okay now in the static void main function i'm saying student s1 new student 11 ankit and java so this is constructor called to the first constructor that is the first parameterized constructor however when i create the second student s2 i am using the second parameterized constructor but by default i am also using the first parameterized constructor because when i say this and then i call the first parameterized constructor eventually it has to be called right so if i just display the output all the values will be displayed and this essentially is known as constructor chaining okay so this is a important concept which is many times used so it is used basically to reuse the constructor and in other words it is used for constructor chaining so that's the term being used and always remember that when are when you are giving a call to the constructor it has to be the first line always okay so this cannot be at the second line so that will throw you an error if you want you can just copy paste this code and try it out in the java program i'm not going to do it right now because it'll again make this video a little bit more lengthy but go ahead and try it out yourself and i would highly recommend that you try all these program codes that you see in this article for the best practice so yeah that's it for this video guys these are the five different use cases wherein the this keyword is used and it's a very important concept because we'll be using the this keyword in different programs in further video tutorials as we move ahead in this playlist so if you like this video give it a thumbs up share this video with your friends go check out this article on the website let me know how this video was if you have any comments if you have any doubts you can put them in the comment section and if you haven't yet subscribed make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video tutorial so i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace